We are very proud to be here uh, to start uh, the seminar with you. Uh, it's going now uh, hard work for three days. <laughs> uh, we have prepared today some presentations so that you get acquainted uh, with, the, with the subject and then we will form some working groups uh, and uh, there will also be uh, some exercises so I, I think you will get some ideas uh, about the, 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 uh, the, the project idea. Uh, the project is on validation and uh, non-formal and informal learning, and that's important because uh, nowadays people don't only learn uh, at schools or in the normal uh, state uh, government uh, system, state educational system. We learn in non-formal ways, we learn in informal ways, in working places, and so on. And it's necessary to validate this knowledge uh, to be recognized uh, in, the, in the academic sphere and also uh, for exchange in international uh, uh, studies and jobs. So I hope uh, we will uh, have a nice session these three days. And please uh, feel free to ask. We will start uh, and we would like to activate you. That's, I think that's the main point of uh, this kind of a seminar. Uh, that we get in touch to each other, that we talk to each other, that it's also necessary to learn for us about uh, your applications. Uh, so uh, the, we will have uh, some kind of a reflective report where we will ask you how would you apply all this, the things you have learned to your own situation, to your own university. Yeah? And so that would be some kind of uh, a really uh, a thing you have to apply in your own situation, in your own context. Thank you so much. Another good morning from me. And uh, just to say really how delighted we are to be here. Uh, as you have seen, my name is David Major and I'm from the University of Chester. Uh, probably not going to say too much uh, about myself or anybody else at this stage because we're going to have an exercise where we're going to get to know each other um, and so that can, that can wait until then. But we are delighted to be here in, in Rostov and uh, we do welcome you all very warmly to this uh, EU project. Uh, as Peter said on, on the uh, validation of non-formal and informal learning um, we represent uh, three European universities, one from the UK, uh, one from Austria and one from Germany. Um, yesterday we had colleagues uh, from France with us as well. They're not taking part in this training session, but they are involved in the project, um, as are various other European partners. Uh, so it is quite a, uh, a broad collection of interests that we represent and um, it's our pleasure uh, to be able to share some of our experiences uh, with you all here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, stop now and hand over to colleagues from uh, Danube University who as you know are leading on this project and they're just going to introduce you to the University of Krems at Danube. And I'm from Danube University, and also Peter, who already talked today, is also from the Danube University from Austria. And it is actually a university for further education. So our target group is mainly already professionals, um, so not really students directly after university or after um, school, but really people who are already on the job. And Peter and me, we are, Peter is the head of the department and I'm a researcher at the Department for Interactive Media and um, Educational Technologies. And so, well, that's for now everything from our side and I would like to introduce you to Eva and Anita from the DUW in Berlin. My name is Eva, I'm from the, um, well, Berlin Professional uh, University no, Berlin University for Professional Studies. We have in German and English different names. Nobody knows why, but it's like that. <laughs> so I don't know how it is at your universities or home universities. Um, well, uh, just a few words to our university. We are quite a small university, uh, a private university that uh, works very much in with blended learning. We 
work uh, as the Danube University exclusively with people who have professional experience and who return to university but who, who study alongside their work. Well, we just, so that means that we'll try to link theory and practice, academic knowledge and professional knowledge within our studies. That's just short from our side, but as we work with you for three days and when we talk about validation and lifelong learning, this has very much to do with persons, so it's a personal thing. It's less actually about institutions, about, but more about personal learning path. We would like to share with you or to know from each other who is there, what are your interests, where are you from, what are your functions with and what is your interest actually, so that we really get an idea from each other. We will do this exercise at the end, but knowing my colleagues, we will do the end because they try to speak very long, so <laughs> I can stop them at that point, and it's more on your side. So what I would ask you in a first step, you get three cards. To put on the first card your name, I would recommend that we just talk to each other with our first name. I think it's easier for us because, well, our Russian is not so well at the moment. We work on that. <laughs> But uh, one card where you just write your name. The second where you write your function at the university. That means your perspective on the topic is a bit with that and <laughs> which also your university, because I guess you come from different universities, not everybody from the technical university. That's right, <laughs> I see some nodding. And at last, what's your interest in the topic? Just to get an overview that helps us also when we work the next uh, uh, three days, including today, that we can work with that and see where we put the focus on in our program. National Faculty at Dern State Technical University. I'm a teacher of English uh, from DSTU. I'm a head of the Department of Informatization at our university, and uh, my main my major specializations are uh, information technologies. I work as a senior research fellow. Um, I'm here uh, because I uh, didn't know nothing about uh, this stuff, and uh, I like uh, to become acquainted uh, with. Mm -hmm. All that uh, with uh, with uh, these new things for me. I would like to know something in new moments about validation, the methodological side, uh, maybe. And uh, uh, my interests are methodology and didactica, most of all. So, uh, as I teach of, uh, English and Spanish, uh, uh, validation is a very important thing for a language skill because a lot of language skill we mm, uh, we get. Uh, communicating, not uh, just learning. Mm -hmm. So, validation in this field is very important. Yes, I'm Isabel and I'm working for Danube University Krebs, also short DUK. I'm a project manager and I'm a researcher. And Well, my main interest. Well, it's first of all also very personal because I think myself I am a lifelong learner and I really do hope that I can um, have all my knowledge um, also validated in the future. Knowledge that I didn't acquire in just in university but also outside, for example, even within my job now as a researcher. And also I see with a lot of um, friends I have a lot of students, that are still students actually, um, they are, you know, complaining a bit because they know a lot but they feel like it is not um, valued by university. Um, for example, once um, an architecture student, a friend of mine, told me, well, he wanted to change something in his flat. And with his cousin, who is actually a construction worker, who didn't have any higher education, he, he was so, um, you know, surprised 
because his cousin, he, who didn't have any higher education, he was he did he knew, he knew so much about what he's doing from the practical side, um, and he was so astonished and so impressed actually. And these are actually uh, this is knowledge that you know also needs to be valued. And this could be an entry to some kind of also theoretical field, theoretical education. So this is kind of my personal interest into the validation of non-formal informal learning. But also I have a very big interest in research in this area. And as I'm from the Department for Educational Technologies, I'm very interested how I can support lifelong learning with educational technologies. Did it somewhere? It, is, it means, this is the topic of our workshop actually, the validation of non-formal informal learning. Well, and um, our plan is actually with our project to support um, Russian higher education to establish procedures that are fitting to their context. Um, to help them to find um, their own methodology, their own procedure for validating non-formal and informal learning. And so, that the first one step, one important step for us is Therefore, to um, have these train the trainer programs, so you can take the knowledge you get here to your universities too, and also teach the staff at your university. And we thought about having several learning outcomes for this course. So, in the end of this course, you should know or can able should be able to do actually not just know um, following things. The participants are able to explain the importance of vinyl um, for higher education the background of societal change. Participants are able to distinguish between different learning perspectives and their relevance for accommodating non-formal and informal learning. Participants are able to enumerate different vinyl practices and their requirements, advantages and disadvantages. Participants are able to quantify and also assess learning and participants, in the end, and it's very important, um, are able to compose a process for validating of informal and non-formal learning within their institution. And as already Peter pointed out, the reflective review is here, has here a very important uh, meaning, especially for this kind of learning outcome in the end. And there are several steps to become an, a vinyl expert within this program. First of all, and you did that step already, you looked into the prerequisites that um, readings we put online. Second, and you also already did that, you are here. <laughs> um, afterwards, writing this reflective review, it is about 2,500 uh, 2, words and um, the deadline would be um, at the 16th of December um, to give in. We will give you feedback and um, it's just important, actually the important thing is just what you think, um, what is important, which, which obstacles are there if you want, would like to try to implement so these kind of procedures at your institutions or use it for your institutions. And afterwards, there will be a final conference um, from the project next year in October in Moscow. And at latest, at this point, there will be the chance to take the final test, the final exam. It will be a multiple choice test. But if you, you know, were here and listened and you wrote your reflective review, this multiple choice test won't be any problem for you at all. You don't have to worry. Also for the reflective review, you know, if you are here and if you're listening and we're working together, you know, you will already know what to write. And at this very last final seminar, you will get the, the international certificate um, and you're officially a VNIL expert in Russia. And you will get all the information how you can reuse this training at your, in, in, at your institutions. Because we want to make it sustainable. We want this program to, for you to use at your institutions. 